Welcome back toy fans to another toy hunting video from Empire Toys 1138. Okay guys, I'm down in Totten for the Totten Toy Fair. It's on, we're out of lockdown, first toy fair for me since lockdown. And it's probably the first toy fair that I'm actually gonna be doing where I'm not selling or anything uh, since all the lockdowns for this year. So it's gonna be quite nice just to walk around, see what they got, see what's on offer. Um, I'm quite looking forward to it. I've just driven past the entrance, there's a big queue. So it looks like there's a lot of people there. So hopefully there's a lot of stalls inside that we can find some cool, cool stuff. Um, Guys, just want to say be a thank you to everyone who's so far subscribed to the channel. But if you're not already, I would appreciate it if you did hit that subscribe button at the below. Make sure you give this video a like, share it around, help with uh, all that, and I really appreciate it. All right, guys, I won't keep you too long. So we'll go inside, check out the fair, and hopefully find some cool retro toys. Peace. Unfortunately guys there will be no audio from the show due to the Christian music and copyrighted music that was being played. Sorry about that. I do love a loose fig rummage. But well, that's how I get to pick any of this stuff up. First things I saw here were those street sharks in there. The guy wanted uh, seven pound each for them, which I decided not to because uh, my twenty pound toy challenge for creating a street shark collection. Obviously, that will blow. I only leave me six pound to get the rest of the collection, so I left them. We can see loads of fungo pops, all sorts of uh, geeky memorabilia here. Definitely was a good price on those uh, booster packs, sword and shield Pokemon cards. Here, this stool here is fully on the Pokemon card pipe. Just packs and folders and folders and folders loaded with Pokemon cards. Also, loads and loads of Yu Gi Oh cards. It's good to see. Hundreds of them. Drawn in to begin with those Jurassic Park figs. Loads of loose ones there. None of this box stuff here was uh, taking my fancy. There are some cool stuff here, some super rare stuff. Unfortunately there were two only black series figures that I saw, which was a bit disappointing for me personally. But here was where it sort of all really counted. This was the loose fig mountain. There's gotta be thousands of loose figs just ready to rummage through, so I had a good good look through everything here. 
it's a um, good sort of 30 minutes of footage which obviously I'm not taking you guys through right now going through everything so I've cut it down to it a little bit hopefully we'll find some cool stuff in here Grab these guys were here. I went with the shoulder um, mounted for the GoPro and uh, purely for these guys going into the boxes. As you can see, they've got loads of extras underneath to go through. Thought about the putty here, decided against it. But there was just so many loose figs to go through. I was determined to pull out some cool Star Wars 3.75s out of this. Picking up the comic pack, Imperial Knight was cool. Couldn't find his buddy though, I'm afraid, which was a bit of a letdown. But to get him was good. No lightsaber though, which was a shame. Got a vintage Luke Skywalker there, Jedi Luke. But nothing else really sort of jumped out to me that I uh, wanted to grab. This was sort of the main bulk of where I found the stuff in this section here. A lot of the 80 stuff was in here and the retro 90 stuff as well. I'm picking up some Hasbro's there. There were some awesome turtles in here. Like just loads and loads of stuff, but it was difficult because you were trying to hold on to the figures while rummage through with one hand. And every time you made a little bit of space to it's all saying someone else put their hand in and grabbed it, so you had to be quick. We still managed to find some cool stuff out of here and it's just fun just going through rummaging 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 through lots of loose figures it's just a fun thing to do i know you toy hunters out there love would know what we're talking about now the joists here unfortunately all had cracked uh, crotch pieces so that was the reason why i didn't buy them it's a shame because there was about six, seven of them in there. Good little multi-pack. Some cool ones in there, but fortunately broken. pains me looking back at this now because I can see so much things that I should have picked up you kind of go a bit sort of blind to all the figures like it all starts mashing into one when you keep looking at them but I can definitely looking back and see a few more that I should have picked up and added to my pile oh, got it What's going on guys, we're back home and uh, we've got a nice, nice uh, toy haul here. Um, as you can see, I haven't actually watched back the footage yet, so I'm just filming this to go for my pickups. I've got to do this quite quickly, hence why I haven't set up the table and everything. But um, really good fare, really well organised, uh, lots of space to walk around for like social distancing and all that. And some great stuff. So, walked around, lots of cool stalls. Unfortunately, uh, a lot of the there was music being played, uh, there's PA system blaring out loads of Christmas music, loads of uh, sort of um, toy music, I .e. like theme tunes from TV shows and everything, so that's why there's no voices and music and talking uh, between me and the sellers uh, there, just due to the fact that um, <laughs> I've had to blow it um, 
I had to mute it all out due to all the copyright infringements. But we've got a nice little haul here. So uh, what we'll do, we'll start off here. You probably, um, you didn't see me buy these. I think I'll turn the camera off then, but I've got some good deal. Uh, everyone's on the Pokemon card hype at the moment. So I picked up uh, four decks. Um, Rillaboom, I think that's called. Theme deck. Into the theme deck. I know I asked the guy were these legit, were these real? He got a bit sort of, I wouldn't be selling them if they weren't, all that sort of stuff. But they were a very good price. Um, I'm not too uh, sure on how to tell the box if it is, but it, look, it looks pretty legit. And if it was a fake, they've done a, a very good uh, job here because I wouldn't think it would have all this uh, information on it. But that's cool. Uh, so looking, f we'll probably end up reselling these uh, at a show because Pokemon is hot right now. Uh, coming back here, we got uh, the Jurassic Park lunchbox. Now I had this as a kid. When I used to go to school, which was pretty cool. Um, I'm too sure whether that'll be resold or might see if Vic wants it. That's pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't have the flask, which is uh, gutting, but it was a great price. I think that was five pound um, for that. So yeah, little Christmas trees there, uh, and then just loads and loads of loose figures. Unfortunately, we had a bit of an issue, and uh, I don't know if this was broken beforehand, but I didn't notice it when I picked it up. But uh, April's. Uh, leg has come off but she still has the uh, the um, camera which is cool so we've picked up some like we've got predators here a couple of um, so I've got a bit of uh, some wrestlers Hulk Hogan there I'm trying to stop that uh, shadowing too much on it uh, got this cool sort of robotic predator there big long dreads loads of turtles there's loads of turtles there it was a big free for all trying to pick up as much as I can but uh, sort of it was trying hard to uh, socially distance and actually get some deals you know what I mean so we've got um, this guy which I again I can't really remember the names for a lot of these so I might just make up my uh, own names for them for the time being uh, again with these guys Bebop and Rocksteady I keep getting them the wrong way around I think this one's Bebop um, but he's got his dustbin shield in there so it's pretty cool Rock said he comes with a gun. I'm not too sure if that um, belt is supposed to be with him. Might be. Not too sure. And for some reason, I seem to have picked up a second one. I didn't realise that uh, was in the pile. I thought I put him back and I placed him with that. Uh, got a Hordak here. Uh, good legs on him, and he's got his back piece and front piece of his shield. That's pretty cool. Panda dude. That's cool. Crocodile dude. Doggy dude. Uh, got a vintage Jedi Luke there. The OG uh, Alien Queen. So the reason why I haven't, I haven't taken them out of the plastic, guys, because uh, I've only washed and wiped down the outer plastic of them. Uh, the Jedi Guard here uh, from the expanded comics. It does come in a two pack of another guy, but it's a cool figure to have. But yeah, so I just sort of wiped down the uh, plastics and everything and the lunchbox and the decks when I got in before putting them out. But I haven't actually uh, cleaned the figures, so I might just leave them a couple of days just to, you know, self clean, as they sort of say they can stuff can do. But that was it, really. Um, I could have spent a lot more. All the. Um, whole bag total all the loose figures came to uh, 60 quid which I didn't think it was too bad uh, the lunchbox was a fiver but again I might keep that uh, the decks were five pound each as well so I thought that was a pretty good deal um, hopefully they're real uh, but yeah so uh, all in all a really good day it was nice to get out toy hunting could have spent a lot more on this stall here you seen in the video I was there for a long running around uh, sort of rummaging through everything but so was everyone else um, Good to see Grant there, repping the Toy Division t-shirt, so thanks for wearing that dude, appreciate it. Anyway guys, I am going to make a move, so please make sure you've liked and subscribed to the channel, and I will see you very very soon for hopefully some more Toy Hunts. Peace.